Mirrorless reinvented. That's Nikon's claim. Will they really take over the mirrorless marketplace? Let's take a look. I just want to say that this video isn't about reading you specs. This is about talking about the direction of whether or not I think Nikon has a future in mirrorless. And my contention is if they don't have a future in mirrorless, they may not have a future. I've believed for many years that the future of photography lies in the mirrorless marketplace. Uh, there's always going to be a market for film and digital, but I think most people are going to move to mirrorless at some point in time. Sony has taken over the spot as the number one full frame here in North America. North America is a huge market. That tells you the tides are changing. And it tells you why Nikon is jumping in now. I'm going to talk to you about where I think Canon sits in all of this. And I'm going to tell you where I think Sony sits in all of this. For the majority of my career, I have been an Nikon shooter. That picture of my son's is precious to me. I shot that on an icon. You can't take that out of me. You can't take that heritage out of me. I love it. My dad was an icon shooter. My D800 and my D3 and my D700 and all these cameras that helped me to move my career are part of my legacy. And it's why I look so forward to Nikon finally entering the marketplace. I switched to Sony because Nikon wasn't moving. They were not listening. I think it's vital that camera companies listen to photographers. Five months ago, I had the opportunity to visit Tokyo and I uh, was there for my own workshops and other stuff, but uh, I was given the honor of being able to go and visit Sony headquarters and a room full of 40 engineers sat there and welcomed me and let me have a little over two hours to tell them what I think their cameras needed to improve upon. They listened intently and what I learned from that experience more than anything was there's a disconnect sometimes between engineers and photographers. We're creatives and, and they are analytically driven. They look at everything from a, an engineering standpoint. We look at things from a creative standpoint. So as I spoke with them, sometimes we'd be talking about something that seemed very simple, but it may take 15, 20 minutes for us to finally find agreement on why a creative would want something like that and why the engineer should place that importance in providing it to us as photographers. So that leads me to where Nikon's at today. They've waited five years to come out with a full frame mirrorless. They've been leading up to this, hinting at it, teasing us for over a year now. The Z6 and the Z7 are pretty much a Sony a7R 3 and a Sony a7 III with some major deficits. Similarities of the cameras. They share similar frame rates, megapixels, in-body image stabilization, which is I'm glad that Nikon did that. That would have been another non-starter. ISO, tilt screen, EVF, silent shooting, hybrid autofocus, and price. They're similar in price, although the Nikon Z7 is actually more expensive than the a7R 3 which I think is a, another big mistake that Nikon made. Nikon and Sony are also similar in, in the video end of this with the 4K video output. One thing that's, that Nikon did do that I did like is that they put the N-Log, which is like S-Log for Sony. Sony needs to do that. The advantages of the Nikon mirrorless system it does have weatherproofing and that is that is great sony please do it now i can say i've shot sony for years i've never ruined a camera but it would be nice to know i can take it in a torrential downpour and not have an issue they put an lcd screen on top that's awesome should have put a dual card slot apparently it's supposed to be a brighter screen than the sony's that's great but for any mirrorless shooter out there they'll tell you it really doesn't matter. That's the huge benefit of an electronic viewfinder is that I can see what I'm gonna take before I take it and I can review my results in the viewfinder. Where these new cameras are lacking that so many people have uh, been so upset about is, Nikon, you, you've had five years to watch Sony take its lumps. They watch Sony get beat up over battery life and dual card slots and not enough lenses for years. And then what do they do? They did exactly the same thing. See, these cameras would have been great three years ago. These cameras would have been great competing against an A7R2 or an A7 II. They would have beat them. The problem is now, nobody's going to take these cameras seriously because there are lower cost, better options available with Sony. I feel really bad for Nikon users out there who have been waiting for this day. 
Guys, I was eager to see what these cameras could do. I was eager for these cameras to push the marketplace. And I think that's what's such a bummer out there because to Nikon users, it's like you guys have waited for this and so many of you out there and some of my followers and I love you guys and I'm with you. I want Nikon to do this for you, I do. You're like, Jason, we're, we're holding out, we're holding out because we have all our glass. It's really hard to switch, it's expensive. And for my followers out there, my Nikon followers out there, I love you guys and I feel for you because you must be pissed. To wait this long and this is what you get? That blows, <laughs> seriously. You, you've probably been waiting for eye autofocus and EVFs and all of the huge advantages of mirrorless cameras. And now you're looking at the prospect that you're not going to get another mirrorless camera from Nikon for at least two or three years. This is it. And so the, the biggest problem that you have Nikon is that you have created cameras that came in under your competition at slightly more expensive pricing on one of them. And you're not coming out with anything new anytime soon. The fact that Nikon will watch Sony get beat over the head for years over the dual card slot and how no wedding photographer should ever touch a, a single card slot camera. And then for you to do the same, it means you really don't care about mirrorless shooters. Nikon, you owed your customers a better camera, a battery life of three, 400 shots. The Sony cameras now have two card slots. The battery life is I'll get over, well over a thousand shots out of one battery, easy, without a battery grip. The reason I shoot Sony is because of its awesome autofocus system. The fact that you would not put in eye autofocus into this system, to me, is, is it's unforgivable. The vast majority of people who make money at photography do so by shooting people. If we don't get the eye in focus, we lose money, we lose clients, we lose pictures, we lose moments. You may say, well, we didn't have to do that in the old days. This isn't the old days. We don't put a cape over our head and fire a trigger and fire in the hole to take pictures anymore, guys. We live in a day and age where cameras can find people's faces and eyes. They can if it's a function that people put into the cameras. The fact that there's no eye autofocus to me makes this camera line a complete non-starter. Again, Back to the reason why I left Nikon in the first place. That lack of listening to their customer base. That, that thought that you know better than your consumers. You don't. Nikon, you don't. And the same goes for Sony, Canon, Olympus, Panasonic, Fuji, all of them. You don't know better than we do. You may know how to build a camera, but you don't know what we want. And if you don't ask, and more importantly, if you don't listen, you're going to lose business and risk being out of business. Let's talk about one of the big advantages that Nikon can, can claim, their ability to use F-mount lenses on their cameras. Nikon, listen to me. If you want to sell cameras, that should have been in your press event. You should have shown a photographer in a video showing how to use F-mount lenses with these cameras. Why? It's simple. The lenses that you put out to start your mirrorless line suck. I don't know how else to say it. A 2470 f4 lens? Who in the world wants one of those? Sony had a 2470 Sony Zeiss. Nobody wants it. 35 millimeter 1.8 for $850? <laughs> I have to laugh a little bit because all I've heard for the longest time is how expensive Sony lenses are. $850 for a 35 millimeter 1.8. 50 millimeter 1.8 for 600 bucks. That's a little bit more reasonable, but still it's a 51.8 for $600. I haven't touched these lenses, but looking at the lenses online, they look equivalent to kit lenses. They really seem incredibly basic. The smartest thing that Sony did when they did all of this guys, they said, we're gonna make a professional lineup of lenses. Why? Because if you want to move these things, if you want the pros to, to really grab onto it, you've got to give us great lenses. And they did that. Nikon had a chance. Their one big wow lens was the Noct 58mm 0.95 f-stop. It's manual focus. <laughs> I, I can't get over this. You give us your big lens is a 0.95 58mm and it's manual focus. Who cares? 
As we speak, there is a Miticon Zongyi Speedmaster, 4 Sony full frame E mount, manual focus, 50 millimeter, 0.95 lens. What? what were you thinking? You didn't share any specs on pricing. You didn't share any sample images. I mean, how could you come out with this stuff? It just felt rushed. The lens roadmap that you guys have planned out is not something that would encourage me to invest in an Icon mirrorless system. Three lenses this year, six lenses the following year, and three lenses in 2020. Twelve lenses. And then for 2021, I couldn't help but notice that you had a graphic where it was silver on the bottom and it looks like slots were supposed to be in there and you didn't put anything. You know to a cynic or a skeptic, that looks like you're kind of hedging your bets. Well, maybe we'll come out with something, but who knows? The FTZ adapter, which allows you to adapt Nikon F-mount glass onto the Nikon mirrorless system, if it works, that's awesome. Why in the world would anyone do it? Why would a Nikon shooter, if they can do a D850 with two card slots, that is, you know, by all accounts, a great DSLR camera, why would a Nikon user ever consider mirrorless? Now, there are certain advantages like electronic viewfinder, but is that enough when you don't even include two card slots? Blows my mind that nobody sat there and had this conversation with you. Pick up the phone, call me, call someone else. We will tell you, don't do this. It's not going to go over well with the industry. It's not going to go over well with the average rank and file photographer out there who needs to make a living doing this. It ain't gonna fly. In this sense, this is just too little too late. These cameras would have been so relevant and so impactful two or three years ago. See, even two or three years ago, Sony didn't have the lens lineup that it has now. So if you would come out with only three or four lenses to start, I think the public would have forgiven you. Nikon, you had your window. And the only way that you were really going to make a dent and really penetrate the mirrorless market was if you beat Sony, you had to. Because you know, you know Sony's watching this. Of course they are. And you know Sony's going to do something very quickly to outdate your cameras. Well, I'm bummed because I wanted you to push Sony. Sony doesn't even have to do that now because you haven't outdated their current cameras. See, if I'm Sony, I'm at Sony headquarters and I'm saying Santa Maria Guadalupe. I'm so happy right now. Because they had to have been holding their breath because they haven't competed against anybody. They've had the entire run of the place. And so now they're like, damn, that was the best Nikon could bring. <laughs> they're probably having parties making it rain over at Sony headquarters. I mean, I would be, this blows my mind. <laughs> if I'm running Nikon, what you need to do is you need to make a new camera. You need to kind of forget that these two happened and you need to come out with a new camera. I try to say, hey, here's our third mirrorless camera. We were holding this one back, but here you guys go. And roll it out sometime soon. And it needs to have dual card slots. It needs to have eye autofocus. It needs to have these things that we as Sony users are spoiled using. And, it's, and more importantly, it's something that Nikon users have wanted. And they've waited for this day for you to give them something that paid them for their loyalty to you. And what did you do with that loyalty? You gave them an inferior camera. That is just so bad. Canon, you're up next. What are you going to do? I'm very curious because Canon got a little nervous with Nikon's big announcement and they let it leak that they're going to have a, a mirrorless announcement in the next month or two. What I'm eager to see is what they've got because knowing how long it takes for cameras to be developed and for those types of things to occur with research and development, you'd have to imagine that whatever they have and whatever they're planning to announce, they've already made. So if you're watching this Canon and you've made the similar mistake to Nikon, you're just not gonna compete. Here's, here's the thing that makes me laugh. I, I, I am such a visual person. I envision people like at Canon headquarters Either A, they're like Sony and they're celebrating right now because of what Nikon has done. Or B, they're like, holy crap, we have something similar and people really don't like it. And before all of you guys out there get mad at me saying I'm just trying to sell stuff for Sony, I'm not. I don't get paid when you guys buy Sony. I don't. I've just been a believer in the system. And I've been a shooter in the system 
for five years now. I believe in what they're doing. And I hope they continue on this path and they don't make the mistakes of Nikon and Canon and get too big for their britches. I hope they continue to listen to people like me and many others who have been instrumental in helping them on this historic ride that they've taken. So now the clock is ticking. Canon, what are you going to do? I'm curious. And when I'm laughing, I really am laughing because I imagine these guys, there's either guys sitting in Japan with sweat just coming off their faces like, holy crap, we've created something similar to Nikon and people don't like it. Or they have that Cheshire cat grin on their face because they know they have something killer coming out. As I stated many, many times, competition is vital. Competition is necessary. One camera company to rule them all means no competition, which means they don't need to listen. Nikon and Canon could have given them a reason to listen. Nikon failed. Canon, what are you going to do? If you're coming out with less than stellar products because you're afraid of cannibalizing your DSLR market, what you're going to do is cannibalize your company. So I hope this has helped. I really do. I thank you in advance for watching. Again, I've been an Icon shooter. I'm currently a Sony shooter, and I use Canon lenses on a lot of my Sony gear. I have love for all three brands. This isn't rah, rah, rah Sony. This is, come on, Nikon, you could have given us a lot more. You could have, and I wish you would have. I really wish you would have. So until next time, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams, find a gear that works for you, and remember, you only have one chance to get it right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. All right, this is a cool place to shoot. Get the gear out. Let's, um, this is awesome. Huh? Let me have your stuff. Oh. <laughs> That's what you get for not putting me in a magazine. You b Oh, I hate models. And take your stupid camera too. Oh. One handed baby. Ooh, spending money. All right. <laughs> She's totally not going on our next trip. I'm talking to you. If you want to continue this madness online and learn anywhere from the world with me, go to patreon.com slash Photography. And if you want to join this madness, and yes, my crazy but awesome models, go to jasonlinear.com slash register and you guys can party and shoot with us anywhere in the world. So until next time, keep shooting. Never give up on your dreams. Find the right gear that works for you and remember, you only have one chance to get it right. Allie, where's my money? Allie? She freaking left. <laughs>